What is happening? YouTube Cowboy here, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. So, obviously, I cut back on recordings a little bit, and part of that is because I have been immersed in this game completely over the course of the last week. I can't stop playing it. It's just totally awesome, extremely addictive, and I'm having a ton of fun with it. So, here is my ship, Viper MK3. Uh, just picked this baby up today, actually. I was doing some bounty hunting <coughs> and found uh, two anacondas, which are really, really high-end ships, netted in uh, 60000 on one, 40000 on the other, and that and some other little bounties, I managed to pull in enough money to buy this beauty, so today we're going to do a little bounty hunting, you know, my name's Fighting Cowboy, uh, for those that don't know where that name came from, the cowboy part of it was because I was a huge fan of Cowboy Bebop growing up, and Cowboy Bebop is all about being a bounty hunter in space, so for me, this game is like living a dream, it's just awesome. So we are over here out in the Cremain system right now. A really good place to do some bounty hunting. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear? Landing gear retracted. That's right. It's voice activated as well. So I'm actually using something called Voice Attack. It is a uh, third party software, but it works exceptionally well with the game. I have it set up to do a number of different commands. And. I mean, I don't know. I can't, like, I don't even really know what to say. The game is just so much fucking fun. It's just awesome. You know, you go out in space, and you can be a bounty hunter, a trader, an explorer, a pirate, a smuggler, whatever the case is. You know, as you can see, we have the entirety of the Milky Way galaxy to explore. And I mean, like, really, we could, we could go wherever we want, you know? Like, we could go all the way over here if we wanted. And... You know, these are uncharted zones, so I could come all the way out here in deep space, and you can see it's just numbers out here, but I could chart all this shit if I wanted to. That's how awesome this game is. Um, so today, like I said, we're going to be doing some bounty hunting. Well, the best place to do bounty hunting is extraction sites. So we're going to head on over to Kremen 2B. I think this is my usual Frame one. Drive charging. Charge up the drive. Ready Put our power to engines. Let's get out of here. Four, three, two, one, engage. So I might actually go to, we're gonna go to this resource extraction site, and I need to head on in just the right angle here, otherwise this will go terribly. Um, resource extraction sites are a great place to do bounty hunting because there's always miners at resource extraction sites and where there's miners there's pirates trying to steal, steal their cargo and if there's pirates they're gonna have wanted statuses and if they have a wanted status it means I can take them out and take the money so to get to the resource extraction site they're always like on the inner rings of the planet so you can see there's the light side and the dark side we switched to the light side because flying around in the dark side is like suicide you know you're trying to dodge asteroids while you're getting in uh, dog fights with people, which is no bueno. So we're going to this one, and we gotta approach it very carefully because if we get too close to that ring, it'll pull us out of Super Cruise. And if we get too close to the planet, it'll also pull us out. So we gotta get as close as possible within one megameter of it. So we're kind of you know staying low like we are now. We're gonna curve up in just a second here. I think we're in a good vicinity right now. Our speed is good. Ready to disengage. Any second here. So we hit the one megameter. Disengage. And we're here. So the voice commands are actually, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's a third party piece of software called Voice Attack. It's like eight bucks really awesome and we are here bounty hunting heaven so right now we see no contacts and that's the first thing I noticed the first time I tried to come here on the recommendation of a uh, bro with the fro but as we uh, you'll see in just a second we're gonna hang out we're gonna start seeing some serious action around here so the first thing we're gonna do is switch out we're gonna put our cave worn scanner on we're gonna change all of our power to weapons and systems 
go. We don't need that much power in the engine when we're going into dogfights. As you can see, a couple contacts starting to pop up. A couple federales. And on the HUD in the center of the screen, you can see we got all the federal guys out there. And you can see these yellow dots that are kind of jumping all over the place. So those are guys that are off in the distance that are too far away to actually show up. So the big thing we're looking for right now is laser fire. Where there's laser fire, there's miners, and there's usually also fights going on. So I'm just going to be flying around a little bit here. Scan detected. They're scanning us right now to see if we have bounties, which we don't. Paid off my only fine. There you can see, thank you for your cooperation, Commander. Not a problem, Mr. Federale. You have a nice day, sir. I'm here to hunt some bounties. Do, do, do. Let's see. Still a bunch of feds. Nothing else yet. Man, the feds are out in force today. I gotta say, it's all quiet. It's strangely quiet. There we go, we got a Viper. Where's that Viper at? We just locked on. Let's take a look. See if he has a wanted status. <clears throat> and if he doesn't, then we keep looking. And that's all it really is, being a bounty hunter. Commander, Captain... F oh shit, no way. Where is he at? Where is he at? I did not think bro with the fro was gonna be out here. That's awesome. Actually, uh, send him the firm request. I did not think I would just find Fro sitting out here. That's uh, that's kind of awesome. All right, so back on target though. Julian Sapphire, definitely a pirate, as you saw in the comms chatter there. Uh, I want it. I want it all. That's pretty pretty clear text that somebody is a pirate. see the gunfight going on. So we're going to get close enough right now as we uh, scan. We can see they're wanted. Julian worth 7,325 credits. We're going to get within that 2k range though. Start a warrant scan on them. And the warrant scan is a must have if you're bounty hunting because it'll reveal any and all bounties they have usually netting you more. So we can see now they're worth 10,550 credits. We're going to get right up behind Julian here. And he doesn't know we're hostile yet. <clears throat> he knows we have hard points drawn, but that's it. And it's gonna go down. So I just got a new railgun as well. Which I don't know if that's actually on my firing group yet. No, it's not. I need to add that on. Fire group. No, it is. Oh. It just takes a lot of power to shoot it. Oh, no, it does. It just takes a while to reload. Yeah, it takes ammo. I just added the railgun. It's my first time working with it. Doesn't shoot that frequently. I'm just saying, he's trying to cut that line, skip me off his tail. Under attack. Flip back around. Once we get through his shields, we're pulling out the multi cannons. Now the multi cannons come out. So I like running with lasers and multi cannons. Uh, basically, this gives me thermal and kinetic weaponry. Kinetic weaponry, fantastic for tearing through the hull of your opponent. Kinetic, obviously, I have in place to take down the shields. I feel it's a very efficient combination for bounty hunting. It's making me kill my targets with pretty good speed. 76% already. Well, you're going to be the easiest tank k I've ever made. Target shields online. Shields back up. Okay, 
Dude, someone else is riddling this guy with bullets. Target shields offline. Here, Julian. I need to get another railgun. Come on. Where do you think you're going? And down he goes. Boom! Target destroyed. Well, that's how you get a bounty. So, now over in our transactions. Oh, did it show up yet? Oh, it did. There we go. 12,000 bounty in Empire. Had 7,000 in Federation. So, obviously, this guy was wanted in a couple different places. The 7,000 in Federation was what he initially had. But we still like it. <laughs> funny. Um, so the railgun shoots really slow. And there it goes. Uh-oh. Are we going to have a fight with Fro here? This could be entertaining. Where's he at? Let's see where Fro's at. He is a pirate, so we could have this, this battle. see a lot of cobras showing up we're just gonna head on over to this large population of crovas though try and grab a couple more and need uh, another uh, 50,000 to pick up another railgun and he is clean Let's see lots of lots of stuff out here though we're just looking looking for ones that have wanted statuses anytime you see wanted you got yourself a bounty unknown If he's unknown, that makes him worth the scan to me. Usually, if somebody's just, um, if they're just unknown, I will, uh, or if, they're, if they don't have a bounty on them, I won't bother with the K warrant scan, like, if they're not already wanted. Because the thing is, like, if we warrant scan him, you know, this Christian lie, they could have a bounty scan in another detected. system. But even if they do, if they don't have a bounty here and we shoot them, we're going to get flagged as the hostile. So you have to keep that in mind when you're bounty hunting is, you know, you always got to shoot. You have, you have to scan first, shoot later. This isn't a, you know, it's not like Daisy you want to shoot first, ask questions later. You want to make sure that you're going after people that you know already have bounties. Otherwise, you're going to risk getting a bounty yourself. I mean, there are a couple exceptions to this. Obviously, if someone has like a 100k bounty in a neighboring system and they don't have one here, blow them the hell up. It's worth the, you know, the little bounty you'll get for taking them out, considering how much they're worth. But, you know, going through and scanning every single person we see to find one that's wanted isn't really ideal. So, I like to just go around and try and hunt down the people that are wanted. This guy right here, Sven Lai. Kind of a cheapskate. Only worth about 3,000. Let's scan him up though. See what other bounties this sir might have. And how much are you worth now? That's nothing. So you are a small fry. No matter. Target shields offline. Man, that railgun fucking hurts when it hits apparently. And now we're gonna get on him with our multi cannons. Where you going, buddy? Don't run. Damn, dude, that railgun just blew away his shields. Like this. Come here, you. Where do you think you're going? 
This guy's really trying to juke right now. left on his hull. This little guy's going down in just a second here. Wanna keep flying, do you? Target shields online. Target shields offline. Down he goes. Target destroyed. Another one bites the dust. Ba da ba da. Bang. Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey. Right. And an anaconda. Oh, shit. Dun, 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 dun. Roy Stanton. Dangerous. Wanted. Friendship charge detected. 95,000. Hell yeah. No, he's surging. Fuck that. No, you little bitch. I will not let you get away. Oh, he's gonna get away. How about you stay and fight instead? Oh shit, I hit a Federale. That's no Under good. Attack. That's no good. We gotta scan this guy. He's already worth 95. He's probably worth a lot more than that. I think I got him to cancel his frame jump. No, just 95. Either way, we're staying on him. It's worth way too much to let get away. Staying right in this blind spot right now. This is gonna be kind of tricky. I got all the feds on me too. So I accidentally hit a fed. Hopefully they'll decide to kill the anaconda instead of focusing on me. God, this ship is such a monster. Look at this. I'm not even denting this damn thing. Under attack. It's pretty impressive, right? That's Anacondas. One of the biggest ships available in the game right now. The only other Target one, even close to its size, is called uh, a Lacon Free Heavy. Oh shit, Fro ran right in front of me. He's also on the Anaconda with me. But the Lacon Heavy ship is a, uh, it's a trading type vessel. This guy's with way too much money to let get away. Taking damage. So we gotta kill this guy and then we gotta jump out of here. Whoa! Ow. Ow. That is not the, how I want to clash with an anaconda. Prepare to jump. Shields online. Frameship drive charging. Oh, oh man, they're coming after me. But with a bounty like that, I'm getting out of here, man. See, that's the thing. Between two players, only one player can claim the bounty. So I just snatched that 95,000 bounty right out from under Fro. Ooh, I got shields on. 
Full systems, the engines, let's go, baby! And it's just the Federales on me now. Oh, man, that was a good run. Did not think I was going to encounter an anaconda when I started uh, recording this. That is the fourth anaconda I've encountered. Three, two, one, engage. Boom! And we are gone. Crime detected, starting attack run. They're all after me. Well, they flew in front of me while I was fighting. What do they expect? Alright, so at this point, back to Wooler Terminal. We'll lock the destination. And uh, we need to fly on the outskirts, because if you remember, we approached the planet. So we're going to stay right on the edge of the planet here. Just flying on the outskirts. Let's see exactly. So we got a whoo -hoo, 106 thousand to turn in at Federation. That is uh, quite a healthy helping of money. Poor Fro. I feel bad for him now. Murder that anaconda. We're gonna slow down here. We're gonna blow right by Wooler Terminal. Probably don't swing back around. I've actually found this to be next time I start hunting you down. <laughs> well, he is a pirate. I am a bounty hunter, so sooner or later we will end up clashing, I'm sure. Um, but I find it almost faster to just swing past the terminal and then swing back around versus slowing down a lot. As you can see, now we're approaching. <clears throat> and it's only like a 10 second approach till we're there. Our speed is good. Once we get within one megameter. Disengage. If you're just starting to play this game, these uh, these giant terminals can actually be pretty confusing. Uh, just note they always rotate counterclockwise. So you can see this side, you have like the four red blinking lights. That means it's the bottom. So just head on to it, or, you know, loop around, and then come back in. Like I said, it always rotates counterclockwise on its axis. I know the first time I encountered one of those, I kind of flew circles around it for about 10 minutes, just trying to find the damn entrance to the thing. And uh, when I finally found it, I was like, oh, wow, I feel like an asshole. But so, nice quick bounty run. About, uh, I don't know how long we've been recording. Probably somewhere around 20 minutes. But, you know, went out, got our money, got paid. Request the dock. Docking request granted. It's another sexy voice command I added in. That one took quite a bit of time, actually, just because trying to uh, build that one for a while it would try Stand and detected. enter the request so fast that I uh, I couldn't actually I couldn't um, you know get it like it was trying to enter the command faster than the menus in game were opening up so that one took a little amount of time to, to get perfect landing gear Oh, 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 oh. Kill, kill engines, kill engines. Oh my god. Did not think I was coming in that hot. Oh shit, I know why. Because I have full engines on right now. Don't need full engines right now. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Alright, and we're back home to Wooler Terminal. Oh god, I don't have money. Just kidding. And this is the bulletin board. Normally you'd find missions there, but <coughs> I'm not interested in missions because... We are just doing bounty hunting. Thank you. And reload all, and repair all, and review all. And, uh, considering I got all this great new money, I think I will... I don't know, I might toss another railgun on here. Because they were quite powerful, it just took a while for those to recharge. 
but I mean, I took down that. that tree. Maybe I'll just keep one. I don't know. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Elite Dangerous. Um, just because this is kind of an open world MMO type of game, personally, I think it's a lot better for streaming than it is for like a YouTube series because you know you can't really do a walkthrough with something like this but I do plan on playing a lot of this I'm really really enjoying it like I said I have been pretty much addicted to this game over the last week and um, you know so I'm gonna be bringing you guys some content anytime I go on a, a little bounty run like that or go after a bigger target or maybe explore some of the deeper regions of space I'll try and make a video but there's definitely gonna be plenty of it happening on Twitch so Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, an absolute ton of fun to play, especially if you like space type stuff. I mean, you know, as I mentioned earlier, I was a huge fan of Cowboy Bebop growing up, so this game is like a dream come true for me. It's like everything I could ever want. Um, so thanks for watching, and uh, you know, make sure to stay tuned, and hope we'll see you guys next time with more Elite Dangerous.